Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip and I thought I'd do a video today about how to download the Ultimate Prepper eLibrary. And it's a collection that I've started several years ago and I keep adding to it and I finally got to the point where I was given an, an incredible offer of somebody hosting this entire library online. It is absolutely free. Anybody can access it. You just need the username and password, which I'll throw up here on the screen, and you can access all of these files and download either everything or just whatever you want. And most people just download everything. To start with, I'm going to bring that website up. And this is what it looks like when you first go to it. Now I'll put a link in the description below on how to directly access it from your browser. If you haven't logged in, you will need the username and password, which are here on the screen now as well as in the description below. I'm already logged in, so I don't have to do a login. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the site. And here are all the categories in alphabetical order. You can download as many as you want, absolutely free. However, there is a member at this forum who has been selling this information. So I'm gonna ask you to please donate. It's a cause for his son's medical needs. And even if it's just a buck or two, every little bit helps. And I'll put a link to the description for that uh, fundraiser in the description below. But you can see there's all sorts of information in here. You can download as much or as little as you want. These are all of the different categories that are available. For instance, here in pottery, here's all the stuff in pottery that's available. We'll go down here to shelter, and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot there. Yeah, here are all the shelter files that are available. So how do you download all of these? Well, you could right click on something. Let me go back to this. You could right click and save link as, and it would save it as a PDF, but then you'd have to go through renaming it and finding a place on your directory, your hard drive in a directory to, to save it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that the easy way using a program called JDownloader. And I'll put a link in the description below where you can download this from. And I'll blow this up so you can see the whole thing. It looks a little complicated, but if you just follow along, you'll be able to get the basic steps on how to download all of this in pretty short order. So let's go to something like, yeah, that doesn't have very many in it. Let's do, find something I know is gonna have a few. Caching, let's do caching. That has, yeah, that doesn't have a whole lot in it either. Cement and concrete, that has quite a bit. So let's say you want to save all of these files. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my file manager to my wherever I want to save them and I'm going to create a folder for it. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Prepper Library. Now you can name it whatever you want. You can put it wherever you want on your computer. That's up to you. Now different computer systems and different managers and things like that may be a little different but you should be able to know how to create a new directory. Once I have the new directory done, I'm going to open that up and I'm going to move this over so it's out of the way. And you can see that it's empty. Now I'm going to do cement and concrete. So I'm going to create another subdirectory called cement and concrete. Okay. Now it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. I'm gonna blow this up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to highlight this in an, this entire URL. And I'm going to copy it. Control C on Windows, I couldn't tell you what it is on Apple, but how you copy that information. And what you wanna do is come over here to add new links. And you wanna, well, I guess it's already there. Maybe it does that. It copies that automatically. But I want to put it, I want to go to, and I can go through all of my stuff here and find the 
file that I want to put it in. So now I'm telling the program to take everything off of this website and to put it at this location on my hard drive. Hit continue and click on link grabber. And now you can see it's going through and it's finding all of those files that were on that website. It's going through and finding each and every one of those. It's saying take these and save them here. Once it stops and gets to the end, it will quit giving you these, these numbers will quit going up and I'm just going to go ahead and bring that back down. I'm going to open up that folder that I created, come back over to Jade Downloader and start all downloads. And you can see that as it starts downloading these, here in the Jade Downloader, it will give you the progress and here in your file directory, you can see these files coming up onto your hard drive. So it is basically taking things off of this web page using this application and putting them here on your hard drive. And you can keep going and doing that. So we'll just let this run. And at this point, you can go do something else on your computer or, or go make dinner or check your laundry or whatever you want to do. Just let this run and, and do its thing. And once it gets done, we're going to cover one other aspect of this that you need to be aware of because the directory on this website is just the parent directory. There are subdirectories and sub subdirectories. So this is not going to get everything on this directory. For instance, down here is a subdirectory called Ferro Cement. And I don't know if there's another one in here or not. Nope, there isn't. So we will need to do this whole process over again for Ferro Cement. So let's, like, let, let's let this get done, which is almost there. But in the meantime, I can go ahead and create a file called Ferro Cement. And it continues to work and it continues to download files. You can see them popping up here, but we'll just go ahead and wait for it to finish. And it's just about done. A few more seconds and we should be there. And everything is now done. Now I'm going to go over here to Ferro Cement. And I want to download these. And I want to download them into this, this folder right here. So I'm going to come back over here to Add New Links. And I'm going to copy that URL again. And you can see it's added that. And now I'm going to browse for Ferro Cement. Save it. Continue. Link Grabber. Now it is getting all of these files, two, three, these five files, one, two, three, four, five. You can see that it's gotten those five files. And I'm going to open up this directory, click on Start Downloads, and it downloads those five files onto my hard drive. Don't worry if you mess up. You can always delete everything that you've done and start all over. It's easier to do that than to try to figure out what went right and what went wrong. Just delete the directory and start all over. But that's how simple it is to bulk download these files. You don't have to right click, save as, and then open it up and then save it as something and, and do all this. This J downloader, and there's other downloaders that are available, but that's how simple it is. I wish there was something to say, just copy it all, but unfortunately the internet doesn't work that way. But anyway, that's how it works. I'm going to go back here to cement, and here are all the cement PDF files. And I'm just going to click on one here and bring it up. It's probably going to come up on my other screen. So I'm going to have to drag it over there, but there is that 
PDF and under ferro cement I'll click on this one and there is that file that's how to download using a bulk downloader so I hope you found this uh, video tutorial interesting and helpful this is Backpack Hack. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share my videos. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out on the trail.